Hey guys, what's up? What's good? What's Gucci? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jay here and it's like 1.41 a.m. So this is going to be a little bit more muted and I do apologize for that. But I went to Target earlier and I finally, you know, sat down to do this video. But this is going to be a haul video. Um, I bought a bunch of body care products and my last body care video went really well. So I felt like at least for my channel you know it has like almost 800 views to my channel for it to happen that quickly that's a lot so <laughs> i decided to do another video i went and i picked up quite a few from walmart and target so this is a haul style video like a what i got from the store type video and if you want to see what i got from the store body care products wise just keep on watching so y'all the first place i went is to walmart okay we went to wally world and I got a few different things from Walmart. I always do. I always Walmart is one of those places where you go to get certain things and you end up getting a bunch of stuff that you you was never in there for. Like, let me know if you like that. Like every time I go to Walmart, I spend way more than I expected to. But this time I did good. I bought things that I really needed, including a curl custard for my hair. I take bag needed I wanted this I saw it and I just really need more cream stylus for my hair this is one that I've never used it's from Aunt Jackie's it's the curl a la defining curl custard and we're gonna open it together for the first time it smells pretty good one thing about Aunt Jackie's products that I'm noticing because I don't use very many of her products but of their products but they smell really good like the gel I use the gel and it smells so good this smells really good as you can see it's like kind of purplish um it looks really like yummy it smells yummy so I'm really excited to use that it has shea butter and olive oil and I'm one of those people where like I was on that shea butter wave and then the wave started to go towards like we don't use oils on our hair anymore but I'm a I swear by oils on my hair and I swear by shea butter I still do and this has shea butter in it so that means that it has me written all over it so I'll probably do a video for you guys if you're interested in like a wash and go or something where I use this product just to try it out for the first time and see if it see what the business is I'll keep it going with the hair products because the next thing I got is from the main choice it's their growth oil I've used this I've used a bottle of this all up and I really think this is like there's some magic in here I like I said I swear by oils on my hair and on my scalp and I swear by like massaging an oil into my scalp I really 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 feel like that does a good job of like promoting growth especially for somebody like me who as you guys know if you watched my last video my hair doesn't grow super fast so I really like to kind of like speed up the process and like encourage it and show it some love and this this bottle of oil right here really does love my hair really does love this stuff and um I think the main choice is really good for like hair growth products so yeah one of my favorite oils ever 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 ever, ever. this stuff also is kind of expensive like it's like ten dollars I think for this little bottle it's worth it though it really is the next thing I got random is sunscreen I don't really know if you could say this is a beauty product but I mean you want your skin to be the same tone all over let me make sure this is actually yeah this is like sun this is sunscreen <laughs> I'm not a huge sunscreener but I use it like I'm, I'm I've been getting into it a lot more because I do want that uniform you know skin tone so I did get some more sunscreen <laughs> yeah I don't know how much you can say about this other than like we should use it I know it's black people black people don't usually use sunscreen because we don't really get we don't tend to I can't say we don't get there's some people that do get sunburned but most black people would tell you that they have never experienced a sunburn or any type of painful experience from like their skin being in contact with the sun so just that alone creates kind of like a an idea in our head that we don't really need sunscreen but i definitely would recommend all of us just use it because you never know for one and for two like you do we do get damage and it's necessary to make sure that we you know protect our skin because i want to look young and i want to look glowy and i want to 
keep all of this goodness intact so we're using sunscreen over here so i got this one from banana boat um, people don't like these but this is like summer's eve wipes there's not a lot going on there it's just wipes i like to keep these in my purse and um they just helped you to feel really nice and fresh and um yeah they are i have never had any problems with them honestly you just have to make sure you use them in moderation or you use them really when you feel like you're not going to be home all day like i definitely i love this i've been using these for like a year now <laughs> but these are really nice and refreshing and i will switch out of them you know just because i've been more recently hearing a lot of alternatives like Honey Pot is an alternative that I will switch out of, uh, will switch into once this is finished. Um, but I have just right now, I've been using these. There's only 16 in her. So when this is gone, I'll try out Honey Pot. It's a lot more natural. And um, yeah, I'll try that out next. But for right now, these are, these are giving me everything I need. <laughs> this right here is something that I feel like if you have like stubborn dead hard crusty feet you need this okay we need this and don't pay attention to my edges you guys i am boycotting edge control until i get these braids together because i want to keep my edges <laughs> but um yeah back to business this is the holy file it removes dead skin and smooths feet and i have never like i use pumice stones and all of those cute little thingy things and they really don't work they don't work they don't get the dead skin it's your skin still hard after you use them like that's for people that don't really have much going on but if you really have thick like dead skin this is what you need to scrub your feet with <laughs> it's called the holy file i got it from walmart for like five dollars i've used one before and it snapped when i was <laughs> it snapped when i was scrubbing with it so it's like that's the thing but it really does like work like this really works my feet were baby soft when I was using this consistently for like a week my feet were baby soft so I definitely would highly recommend this the very last thing I got was this um, shea moisture bamboo charcoal detoxifying carbon sheet mask with shea butter for blemish prone skin which I do have so I like shea moisture hair products of course but I have uh, yet to try their uh, masks, like sheet masks. They have some mud masks that are really good. There, there's one in particular that I tried. It's like a charcoal mud mask. I love a charcoal face mask regardless, and I love a sheet mask. So I had to pick this up, and I'm so excited to try it. Um, there's not much to say there. This is one of my mini sheet masks. I might include it in a video, and let, just let you guys know how I... How I felt about it I just really hopped on the sheet sheet wave train because it's just a really nice way to get a serum into your skin but just like detoxify at the same time it's just really interesting and I I love that so now we're gonna move on to things that I got from Target um, I just went to Target today this evening actually and I just picked up some things that I needed I didn't get everything but I picked up most of the things that I needed I'll start with the big stuff so I got this <laughs> Because we are doing our feet, obviously. This Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. This is actually something that's really good if you have like aches and pains. You want to take a bath and soak in warm water. If you're feeling, you know, just like you need a relaxation day. I definitely recommend using some Epsom Salt to really just kind of relax your body, relax your mind. It says that it eases aches and pains and soreness from muscle pains. It also soothes your body, promoting a better night's sleep. So if you're somebody that works out, if you're somebody that stands on your feet all day, or you're somebody that even sits at a desk all day and you just find that your body is really tight and tense, I definitely would recommend Epsom salt to really like allow you to really ease you into relaxing, to really relax and calm your muscles, and to just kind of clear your mind and just get... Because your mind, when you're in pain and you're sore and you're achy, it just causes a lot of stress and it builds your stress levels and girl we don't want that so you know if you need to release some stress take you a nice warm bath and put some epsom salt in there and your muscles are going to thank you for it later i got a lot of practical things from target then the next thing i got was this venus i've never used anything if you watched my last video on like body care products i've only ever used the um big soleil i've never used anything else 
so this is gonna be my first time using something other than that and this is the gillette venus extra smooth sensitive disposable razors i got two of them um i got two of them <laughs> just to kind of like try it out so i don't really have an opinion on it yet like this is just something brand new i'm excited because the head of it kind of moves around so i think that's gonna create a really close shave but for me the most important thing about a razor so far is that it has five blades so this one has five blades so i feel like it's gonna work just fine the next thing i got from target is just this listerine the purple bottle of listerine is my favorite because i feel like it's just everything first of all like i went to the dentist and they kind of told me i should use this one so um i do i like that it is like really really strong like obviously this is just some mouthwash we all need to use it girl at the beginning of the day i use it and at the end of the day i use it, it just creates the most amazing environment for your mouth <laughs> so i invested some listerine and we we obviously are rocking listerine chic today so so the next thing i got from target is actually some body lotion um the body lotion that I mentioned in the last video is done and I just wanted to try something different. I've used St. Ives body lotions before and they're really really moisturizing. The smell, the scent that I used before I was not pleased with it though. So I decided to try a different scent and this is the Softening Coconut and Orchid body lotion. This one, now this is what I'm talking about. It smells so good. It's, you know, obviously I haven't the camera set really really light so you can barely see everything today but it smells so good I you know it smells really like summery it smells like I'm on a tropical vacation which you know I'd like to feel like that every evening before I go to bed <laughs> so I decided to get this good old St. Ives it's gonna go really well with my Olay body wash that I got that I didn't share with you guys but I will maybe if I do like a routine like a shower routine or like a you know some type of routine I might share it with you guys but this is gonna go really well with that because I, I'm just really in the vibe of like summery um, fresh flowery scents perfumey summery scents right now you know so I'm really excited about this you know just personal pleasures it's the little thing also from Target I got actually a makeup product I got the LA girl pro conceal high definition concealer this is what it looks like if you know concealers you know this one it's probably the best drugstore concealer ever that i've used i got this one as like a contour because i don't really have i have a cream contour but it's really not dark enough and so i thought maybe this one might not be dark enough either i don't know i gotta think about it i gotta use it first because i have one that's really dark but it's too dark so this one i feel like might even just be able to give me a slight contour if i need it but I just decided to get it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too light. Because now I'm looking at it on my skin. It look kind of light. It might work though. It might work. So the last thing I got from Target is this leave-in milk. As you can see, I'm just obsessed with hair products. This is from Shea Moisture, the Manuka Honey and Mafra Oil Intensive Hydration Leave-in Milk. This is my favorite Shea Moisture line. I actually went into Target to get some other things, but I wanted to get the deep conditioner that goes along with this line because I have the shampoo and the conditioner and I ran out of the deep conditioner and they just didn't have any of the deep conditioner and I was so disappointed because it's my favorite. Deep. It's one, I can't say it's my favorite. It's one of my favorite deep conditioners. So I saw that they had the leave in milk. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and grab that and see how that works for me. And, you know, it, is, it smells just like the other ones. Like, I'm just really interested. I'm, I'm interested in using the entire line. Like, this line right here, I buy it with my own money. They need to sponsor me because, what? Like, it's for dry, dam dry damaged hair. It's color safe. And I have colored hair but and i also have hair that is on the dry side like it's very dry so i feel like and it's also colored so it's damaged a bit a bit you know so i'm trying to keep up with the with the damage you know it's not too damaged but it's colored so of course there's going to be some damage there so that's why i really like the deep conditioner to this line and i'm really interested in trying the leave-in milk i think this is going to be really fun to try it's really tiny it's really small and it was like 10 bucks for this little bottle you know so um 
that I don't know about, but we know Shea Moisture products can be a little bit high. It's not even that high, but it's just a little high. Um, so yeah, you know, I I don't have much else to say about this. I'm just excited to try it. So you guys, that's it. Those are all of my, you know, products that I got for my haul, like my body care, beauty, hair care products, <laughs> and hygienic products as well so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i know you want to you might as well you're already here what's what's it gonna hurt you to go ahead and just click on that button thank you so much for doing that in advance and thank you for watching this video once again i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it just go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think and click on the like button if you liked it thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye